guy always just came across as this Texas gentleman, you know, this bigger than life Texas gentleman. And, and I loved him. And I think anybody else that would have known him would have loved him too. a little bit more about Guy holding court here, because I wasn't even sure if he'd ever been in the Chili Parlor. Yeah. I mean, it's in his famous song, yeah. but um, so he would actually come here. Yes, he came here. He was part of a club called Mad Dog Inc. They even had business cards, Mad Dog Inc. Well, I wish I was in Austin. Mm -hmm. In the Chili Parlor bar, drinking Mad Dog Margarita. And not caring where you are. And it was these rock and tours from Texas, Jerry Jeff Walker and Guy and Bud Shrake and Bill Whitliff and uh, I don't know who else, but they would come here and hang out and drink Mad Dog Margaritas. So when Guy wrote Dublin Blues, he was in Dublin, Ireland, wishing that he was right here where we're sitting at the Chili Parlor Bar. Tamara Salviano became a Guy Clark fan from a very early age. What was the very first song and the first time you heard a Guy Clark? Um, old Number One came out in 1975. I was 14 years old. My stepdad's best friend brought the record over. They used to play records for each other a lot. And they put the record on, and they were over in the corner kind of cutting up and laughing but I heard Rita Ballou, and it just pulled me in right away, first track on the record. She could dance that slow band era, shuffle to some cowboy hustle, how she made them trophy buckles shine, shine. So I sat down next to the speaker, and I was looking at the album cover and the white sleeve that had the lyrics printed on it. Of course, it was an LP. And it said, Words and Music by Guy Clark. Many years later, Salviano met the man himself and eventually formed a deep friendship. It wasn't just a bond with Guy, but the two people he loved most in the world, his wife Susanna and his best friend and fellow musician, Towns Van Zandt. This connection between Susanna and Guy and Towns, talk about that. That's such an interesting triangle, if you will. Yes, it is. Well, they all loved each other very much. And the way Susanna put it, she said, Guy and Towns are best friends, Guy and I are married, and Towns and I are soulmates. That's Susanna. I'm Susanna Clark. I live in Nashville with my husband, Guy, and our best friend, Towns Van Zandt. It was a mythical love story. You had to be there to, <laughs> to get it. Guy and I were married, but Towns and I were soulmates. Guy and Susanna, you know, really loved each other. They were married for 40 some years. They had ups and downs, but you know, they absolutely loved each other. And Susanna and Towns kind of spoke their own secret language. Um, Susanna said that they had like a mystical connection, and Guy thinks that kind of thing is nonsense. Guy, the day after Susanna died, gave me Susanna's diaries, written diaries and audio diaries. And so in those diaries, I got to know Susanna through her, her deepest feelings and her fears and her hopes and her dreams and her love of these men. And I was like, man, this, this is the story I want to tell. I'm a woman and I want to tell this story from the woman's from the woman's viewpoint. I asked him if he had read them and he said no, but whatever's in there is Susanna's truth and you're welcome to it. He did not run from the truth at all and he didn't care who knew what. You know, he was very secure with himself, very secure with himself and, and wasn't out to try to impress anybody. Now here's one of the finest songwriters Texas has ever produced, Guy Clark. You know, Guy has this reputation of being this fabulous songwriter and figure, and he was all that, but he was also a flawed man. You know, I, I love him, I adore him, but he was flawed like the rest of us. 
This is a story that shows warts and all. Yeah, it's warts and all, I think. But what shines through and what the legacy is and what all of us are lucky to be the beneficiaries of is the body of work that Guy and Susanna and Towns left behind. Because um, that's going to be, that's going to outlive all of us. And when I look at the film now that it's finished, to me, that's what shines through is the art. The art was so important to them. It was the most important thing to them. They dedicated their lives to it, and it shows. And I think it was it was worth it. We'd like two Mad Dog margaritas, please. All right, thanks so much. Cheers, here we go. Here we go, Tamara. <laughs> All right. All right, a toast to Guy Clark. Guy. Play the ranch style bean. I could eat the heart of Texas. We gon' need.